Yo, what's good, guys? Lushy here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to be the best motherfucking Nightblade on Elder Scrolls Online. Now, I am a level 23 Wood Elf Nightblade. I believe Wood Elf or Khajiit is pretty damn good. Any uh, racial that has stam stamina regen or just anything with sneaking or uh, blade damage, anything. Pretty much, you're gonna want a race that has good stamina regen, so that's why I picked an, a Wood Elf. Khajiit also works very well. Now, all right, so let's just jump right on into the skills for this uh, build that I run. Um, so first off, with Shadow, which is my first ability, Dark Cloak, or just the original cloak, these are going to be all morphed. So you're going to have to obviously look for yourself if you want to follow this build. You're going to want to look for yourself and see which ability it actually is. They're all in the same place, whatever, so it can't be that hard to figure out. So the first ability I run is Dark Cloak, it just makes you go invisible and removes a debuff. So if I get shot by like a Fire Pot Treb or something, I will be able to remove that buff and it won't kill me in one fucking shot. Alright, now my next ability is Surprise Attack, which when I go invisible I can pop this and it will stun them for 4 seconds unless they hit the whatever double click or left trigger right trigger to get out of it. And uh, that also burns up a lot of their stamina so you'll be able to beat them in the long run in the fight because it's reappliable after about 10 seconds you can go back invisible and reapply that ability and stun them again and it's a really good ability just to spam it's actually like the ability to spam to be very good with this build so it's super easy and then the next ability uh, the third ability is killer's blade pretty much when you get them low 5 to 10 percent HP left um, you use this and it executes them just instant clean kill and it heals you for 18 percent max health if the target dies within two seconds of the ability use so if you're gonna kill them with it it'll instantly heal you so if you're in a 2v1 situation it'll give you about 20 percent of your health back which is pretty fucking a big deal now the fourth ability is under dual wield it's called blood craze and what this does is it does them for a little bit of damage and then it does um, bleed damage over time over nine seconds and I have it morphed to where it heals me for a certain amount of health every two seconds now all of this stuff I'm not gonna say the actual numbers that I have because it scales to your level and it would just be weird it make no sense now when you morph these they all turn into stamina items or stamina abilities all of them besides uh, the invisibility the cloak now the ultimate I run is called Incapitating Strike 2, which when you use it, does a shit ton of damage, and it, and it increases your damage against them by 20% for a certain amount of time, and it reduces their healing t uh, on top of them or to to them by 30% for 6 seconds. So if, they're, if you're attacking a healer, they're only receiving about 70% of normal heals that they give, and this is huge. If my if your health gets lo is lower than the enemies, you pop this and it stuns them for 3.5 seconds so, and it's only 50 ultimate which is like 5 to 7 auto attacks like it's insane how fast it comes back you can spam it about 4 times in a 1v1 against them and you're doing around 5 or I'm doing around 5,000 magic damage and we're making it so that I do more damage towards them which is pretty insane now the second one I don't have completely done yet but I know what I want to do because I have a veteran 2 on my as my main account or my main character so I run cloak as my first ability my second ability will be snipe which is under the bow under the bow skill tree right here final ability unlocked a bow level 38 which I don't have second ability third ability is poison injection which uh, poisons them and if they're at lower than 50 health it does more damage so it's very good against werewolves but also good against a general person too the next your fourth ability what you're gonna want to be running right now I'm running a vampire ability which really doesn't I don't know, I don't really care for it, I just have it there because I don't have any abilities that are needing to take it up. So if you go into Fighter's Guild, um, Expert Hunter, you're going to be wanting to run that. It gives you a 4% chance to do a big amount of damage. Um, I'm pretty sure when you morph it and have this active and you're invisible, you shoot it and it does like something. I don't remember, but it also, it does a shit ton of, if you hit this and if it hits them, um, it does insane amount of damage. All it is is a little buff to your bow for 12 seconds and when you morph it it becomes very good i don't remember what the morph is so i'm sorry about that now here's the big part it does 15 percent to uh daedra and undead but also if there's a passive in here that um everything in the fighters guild that does stuff against daedra and undead also works against werewolves so if you want to just if there's a werewolf in your 1v1 they pop werewolf use this ability 
has a huge percent chance just pull out your bow pop this on and you will be able to absolutely destroy this uh werewolf but also if you stay in the bow stance with that on plus poison injection on top of them you will melt them faster than they will be able to do anything to you now the final ability that i want to try that i don't have yet that i haven't used is going to be grim focus um seven light attacks or heavy either or or you can just mix match heavy light light heavy whatever doesn't matter your bow your bow will turn into a fucking spectral bow which will probably look bad as fuck and it will do deal fight or a great amount of damage um and it also gives you while you activate it like within the seven auto attacks or whatever gives you eight percent more bonus damage which is insane so you have that and it's um it looks very good but if it doesn't work out what you will do for your fifth ability is just run rapid maneuver which is under assault under the assault thing it's for um uh pvp um makes you just run 40 percent faster on a horse on your feet whatever but it turns off when you go into combat and that's that's what it is i guess and then of course my ultimate you can run whatever you want i'm running the same as my uh first ability slot you can run werewolf you can run whatever you want for it i really don't care it's i just have this because i don't have anything to fill it up i guess and uh yeah so that's my build so yeah guys now i'm going to show you how to use this shit in action and how to pretty much destroy anyone in a 1v1 1v2 even a 1v3 shit this build is absolutely amazing and it's very good at sustaining your life and keeping you alive so other than that let's jump into this all right depending on if they're close or far the first thing i do in this situation is do the teleport all because um, he's out of range and I, I can't get to him in time, so I must teleport. Now, when they get knocked on the ground, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go invisible. And as soon as they stand completely up, you do um, your second ability, which is, in my case, Y, because I play Xbox. So I hit Y to put him into a four-second stun. The next thing that you're going to want to do is immediately, as soon as you knock them down with your stun, you're going to want to activate your ultimate, which is left bumper, right bumper, or... L1, R1, or double click. Alright, now that you have your ultimate activated on them, you're going to be doing 20% more damage to them throughout the whole entire fight, but it's only going to be on them, no one else. So the second thing that you're going to want to do after you ult them is you're going to want to hit um, the left bumper or the L1 or your fourth uh, button, which is the dual wield slice, which puts a bleed on them. So throughout the fight, while you're fighting them, they're going to be taking bleed damage on top of every other thing, auto or auto attack or abilities that you're putting on top of them, and it's healing you every time they try to put a little bit back or damage back onto you. All right, so from here on out, um, it's pretty much just going to be you versus him. You have everything. You've done everything. Now, what I mainly do is I spam my Y ability. Now you don't have to go invisible. You just spam it. it does like five times more than a normal auto attack so to spam that it costs a little bit of stamina but you you have a stamina build for a fucking reason and that is to spam this ability over and over and over and it's breaking their armor is down and every time you do this you're doing mad damage mad damage mad damage and your bleed is on top of them so it's making them bleed it's healing you and you're doing mad damage on top of them now if this is a long fight what you can do is after about 10 to 15 seconds of fighting you can go back invisible and you can reapply the four second stun with the y ability or second ability or whatever you want to call it all right so recap you're going to want to jump in you're going to want to go invisible you're going to want to stun them hit your ultimate do the dual slashes so it puts a bleed on them and then when they get up in the in the four seconds you're just going to want to spam the y or second ability and you're going to keep spamming it until they get down to low health and then you just hit the b ability to execute them cleanly so yeah guys that is pretty much it um don't forget man don't forget your common basics don't forget to roll to dodge abilities don't forget to um do the block bash whatever to make them to cancel their um casting abilities all the common fighting mechanics don't forget to do any of that on top of all of this while you're fighting them and you will not fucking lose um the next video i post it will be a little montage of me just absolutely smacking people maybe um 1v1 1v2 1v3 me and my me and this dude teamed up that i met in here and uh um, we did the uh, 2v7 which was pretty fucking crazy he was just healing while I was dropping every single one of them like fucking flies uh, but yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like comment rate subscribe whatever you want to do and uh, yeah peace out